as of now, I am officially back into the LPing business because I have a new microphone that does not suck. I'm able to use it with my new laptop. So all is good, and I will be doing a playthrough of Mitch. What the hell is Mitch, you may ask? Well, it's a game that I made. So the chance that any of you have ever played this before is pretty slim. So it should be an interesting experience. So without further ado, here we go. Keep in mind that I made this game a few years ago. It kind of sucks by my standards. Okay, already that's you just got money and then your mom disappears. Why does she disappear? Because that's what happens in Zelda. Okay, in this house, there's some guy that's a clearly edited shopkeep sprite. He's supposed to look like a really fat kid, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember everything about this game, because I haven't played it in a pretty long time. Let's see. And your grandpa wanted to see something. Then here's the first secret. You push the TV, and there is a heart piece. There are 52 heart pieces in this game, I think. That one is one of the more randomly hidden ones, but in the readme that I made, it actually tells you that it's there, so it's not so hard to get. Okay, you're gonna need a weapon to save your brother, take this. So on those four screens, pretty much the entire story has been established. You're Link, and you're supposed to save your brother Mitch from Ganon. I guess it's sort of implied that he was trying to kidnap Link and then kidnap Mitch by mistake, but it's never actually stated. So anyway, this is the town area. There's different shops. This game functions sort of like an RPG. You'll see what I mean right now. This is supposed to simulate random battles, except they're not really random because to activate them all you have to do is stand on a specific like ground tile somewhere on the screen and then you'll find the enemies and you'll get the rupees. The rupees are supposed to be like experience points because you use the rupees to buy things from the shop. It, it's a vague system but it works. So right now I'm just going to be fighting enemies. If I can rem I don't remember which ones activate them, so I'll just have to step over them all. Um, so yeah, I made this game in, I think it was 2004. I started it on Valentine's Day actually, and finished it around June. It didn't take that long to make. It was the second game that I've made with Zelda Classic. I'm sure that as time goes on, I'll get more into that. But Zelda Classic is, if you haven't seen it in some of my other videos, it's a program that mimics the original Zelda game for NES and allows you to create your own games with it. It's kind of limited in what it can do, but it's still neat because it's easy to use. Let's wait for the tech type to get down here. By the way, that annoying music, assuming you can hear it, I haven't really done any proper testing with this microphone. That music is from uh, Paper Mario, the first one for N64. So anyway, I don't remember what I was saying, but, uh, oh cool, I got some bombs. I'll need those. Uh, this was the second quest that I made. My first one was called Big Dip's Adventure. It was not as good as this one. I said that this quest isn't very good, but I actually think it's pretty good by 190 standards. 190 is one of the oldest versions of Zelda Classic there is, and there's not much... I mean, I mean yeah, there's stuff you can do with it, but it, compared to the newer ones, it's quite limited. So... By 190 standards, it's a pretty good quest, because it's long, it has lots of difficult puzzles in it, People seem to like it. Not many played it, but the ones that did seem to like it, so I'm happy. Then Big Tip's Adventure was very generic. It was basically my way of learning the program. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Or not, because there's hearts there. Hooray. Yeah, it was my way of learning the program. It doesn't do anything terribly creative with the system. I mean, it, it's playable, but it's boring. 
and then Big Dips Adventure 2, this obvi obviously the sequel, is still not done yet, even though I started it shortly after finishing Mitch. So it was in summer 2004 that I started it, and for various reasons I've never completed it. I have a trailer of it on, up on YouTube. It's actually in my profile. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. It's pretty cool. And that game will probably be finished, will hopefully be finished sometime soon. By soon I mean like this year, because currently all that needs to be done are the credits. Okay, I'm almost done finding all the random battles. I know it's repetitive, but hey, at least I'm giving a voiceover, so there's something to listen to. Uh, oops. That was stupid. Okay. Yeah. And now we have our first interruption. I don't know, give me a few minutes. Okay, interruption is over. It is Justin's birthday today. Justin is my now four-year-old brother. He was asking me what I wanted from McDonald's. My answer to that is nothing, because I don't really want McDonald's, but I guess I'll have to have it. Okay, let's see. We've got... We are two-thirds through the ten-minute limit, because I just hit 400 seconds. Let's see what I can buy with this money, if I want to buy anything. I can buy some super bombs. At least... 40... And here's another heart piece hidden. Go into the fireplace. And we have heart piece number two. Uh, do I want another one? Yeah, I'll buy another one, because I can get another heart piece. And that leaves me with 64. I don't know if I can buy the arrows with that, because I don't remember how much they cost. They might be 80. But let's see. Oh, they're only 50. Okay. I'll have to come back and buy the bow once I have 200. Okay, so I'll go get this heart piece and then save, and that will be it for this segment. I'll have to listen to it later, because I'm sure that I've rambled a lot and haven't completed most of my thoughts. So I'll be sure to touch on those in the next episode, installment, whatever you want to call it. What? Hold on a minute. Okay, so that's it for now. I will save. And I will see you later, I guess. I won't really see you, but you will hear me.